Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be building a moxin vise. You're going to do that with a couple of uh, scrap pieces of board. And all you're going to need is a couple of clamps, and that'll be the quick DIY moxin vise. One of the reasons I want to build this vise is that when I work with longer pieces, let's say with this one, this uh, this bench vise here, you got can't hold it up right, or it's too high and it's too wobbly, or it's only being held by the side because you got your support bars here in the way. So with the moxin vise, we'll be able to hold it bench level nice and securely and that also gives me a little bit better angle for working so let's get started all right so the first step i need to do is get the two pieces to be the same width this one's five and a half and i rip the cherry down to five and a half and that should allow it to fit on my jointer let's head to the table saw All right, now that they're about the same width, we gotta cut them to the same length. Okay, on the jointer, I wanna get one side and one face completely flat, and then we'll take care of the rest in the flanger. Okay, now we got two nice square even pieces. We'll start working on our layout for the hold downs and then for our sliding adjustment for the clamp. Okay, so the clamps I have are about an inch and a half wide. So I'll make my cutout about two inches wide and that should fit most clamps. Okay, we'll go to the bandsaw and get those cut out. Then for my longer cut, I'll use a small fence to keep it nice and straight. All right, now I'm realizing that the backboard needs to be slightly smaller. It needs to be as wide as needs to be as wide as this length here inside the notch, which for me is 16 inches. Okay, so we got the rough outline cut out. Now we just need to put some grooves in this front piece and this back piece that allow our clamps to slide in from the side and be out of the way. All right, so I'm gonna put the slots for the clamps to go center of the board. I'm going to go three inches in from the side and I think that should give us enough planting pressure. Okay, now we got our slots cut out. We're good to clamp it down to our workbench. When you're clamping it to the workbench, be sure that this face is flush with the edge of your workbench. All right, then we'll take our back piece, line those slots up to the front piece. And then one clamp goes in that one. One clamp goes in there. And that'll open up. And you want to clamp it down. Just 
like that. 